Penalize me twice. I get a flagrant, and you give him a fresh clock. Oh, the discrepancy here. Ah, Luke Walton always on top of it. Yeah, you're saying don't give Harrison Barnes that. Right. We, 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 <laughs> nothing against GR3, but we're going to need HB2. Yep, Brent Barnacki straightening everything out. We're back underway here. Vucevic too strong on the jumper. Here comes Tyrese. Buddy Hill had 29 last time these two teams played. Back come the Magic. Vooch calling it on a mismatch. Rashawn switches out. Vooch drops a dime to Ennis to the basket. Yeah, it, it, good pass, good finish by Ennis. Great communication there, though, by Rashawn Holmes and Buddy Heald. Buddy was on Vooch. They switched it. Really nicely done. The Magic only 2 of 7 shooting, but here we are tied at 8 early on. Tyrese with the shot clock winding down. Throws it to the Magic bench, and that's a turnover for Sacramento. Yeah, got to take care of that basketball. I think he thought maybe Harrison Barnes was going to move up a little bit, but a little miscommunication early on. Doug, what's the adjustment? Missing two starters, no Marvin Bagley to third, dealing with the calf uh, contusions, calf soreness. Meanwhile, Fox is out as Vucevic gets an easy layup. Fox is out, knee contusion. What's the adjustment when you throw two new guys in the starting yeah, lineup? Well, for, for this iteration of, of the Kings, they aren't defined well enough to know that it, who's going to step up or you can just kind of play your game and it just kind of works its way out. You're going to need some guys. So right now, it's, it's a filling out process. Is Buddy going to be more aggressive? Is Harrison going to be more aggressive? Or maybe it's even Tyrese right here with a three from the corner. Corner, pocket, three, and a foul. Underneath the basket, 